when there is the power of everybody understanding the why <laughs> and sharing that language, that vocabulary and that knowledge, it then makes those next steps not smooth because everybody is bringing a different perspective and a different lens, whether it's financial or elementary versus secondary. But um, I think that's a really important point for folks. And so maybe you could just talk about that idea of that shared consensus and how, even though it may have seemed like a delay in the process, that was so critical. So maybe you could just touch upon that a little bit more. Well, alongside the consensus building based on that knowledge, what we were, we had spent a several years at that point since 2020 living in a constant reactive and uh, looking at intervention needs always. So a lot of time was spent thinking about intervention. So a real chance to stop and say, where can we make the biggest impact for students and to have a moment to recognize that again, where they spend the majority of their time is within our tier one classroom setting. And that means students with disabilities, that means students with intensive reading intervention needs. All of those students really need that opportunity to have a very robust tier one. And my curriculum director, Jamie Olson, consistently would remind the team, don't think where they are now Think of where should they be and where are we going to help them arrive? And that kind of forward thinking helped them to take themselves out of that immediacy of intervention, intervention, intervention into forward thinking of how can these resources give every student opportunity to access complex grade level text and really solid um, phonics and word recognition instruction and that was really revolutionary for teachers because we hadn't been used to thinking that way because of so many things, but a large part, you know, COVID forced us to feel that way as well. So again, yes, it's definitely not a smooth path, but it's the right path. And so we're happy to be on it together. Thinking through the work that went alongside of that though, was putting structures and systems in place for a multi-tiered system of supports, because that was another component that I won't say was broken. We had interventionists, we obviously have special education services, but the intentional scheduling and the protected time for additional adults to come and support either core instruction or that intervention extra dosage of time wasn't there across the board for all buildings and on all spaces. So we've spent a lot of time really building capacity in that area, along with teaming at the, build, at the district, at the building, and at the teacher level, and then really putting things into place, how to do collaborative problem solving with good data from progress monitoring to measure how, how the students are doing.